guys, what's up? This is the Young and Not Dumb show, and my name is Ryan Seekins, and this is basically a welcome show. This is the first show of, you know, first episode ever of Young and Not Dumb. So this is this is a welcome show. We're going to make you feel warm and fuzzy inside and everything good in between that. Um, basically, I'm going to be talking about myself, uh, which I don't do very often, but <laughs> this is going to be about, you know, telling you who I am, why you should trust me, uh, and listen to the show about the show and team on and if you don't know what that is i will explain that to you and basically what you know what the shows are going to be like what shows are going to come probably tomorrow hopefully and that's really it this is this is going to be a short welcome show so first things first is my name is ryan seekins you spell ryan r-y-o-n i know it's very different substitute teachers never get my name right which i'm not surprised but you can call me pronounce it however you want ryan 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 screw it do what you want Um, but more about myself is, uh, I am a three year varsity basketball player. That's not what the show is about though. I just wanted to put that out there. I'm very proud of that. Love basketball. Uh, but this show is about politics. And so I am a 16 year old high school senior. And so hopefully I will be studying political science next fall at a major university. Um, and basically I've been to Politicon. I have more recently gotten into politics um, I've been a part of political groups, not, not necessarily parties. I don't associate myself with one or other party. I feel like their stances are a little bit too narrow for me in, in a sense, but, um, you know, I do, I have been a part of groups. I do, a, a partake in political debates and, you know, whenever I can. So I, I do do that. And so, you know, enough about me, but you know, this show, you know, young and not dumb. The reason, first off the name, I, I, chose it for the reason that, you know, I'm very young. And so people always tend to underestimate me about my intelligence, about, you know, my, my knowing of culture and community and politics. And, you know, it's funny when I talk to people and they're like, Oh, like you, what do you feel about this? And I'm like, Oh, fact, fact, fact. And they're like, you know, completely fucking shocked. So that's kind of where I got the, the inspiration for the name. And so I'm young and I'm not dumb. I know facts. I can rattle off debate. And it's it's a good feeling to know like intellect like that. Um, so I'll be talking, you know, this show, anything politics, you know, is particularly the basis of the show. Um, you know, some culture because culture and society have a lot to do with politics. And, you know, again, I'm huge basketball. You know, I love Chris Paul, Kobe. Favorite player is Kyrie at the moment. But, you know, I might, you know, bring that into here or we'll, we'll see how sports actually lay into this because I know Colin Kaepernick is big in the political discussion. Um, and so that's kind of what's going to encompass the show. I, I'll have guest speakers, I'll have debates, and it'll be a lot of me talking. So hopefully you enjoy the sound of my soothing voice. Um, and so back to this whole Team Ana thing, if you don't know what it is. Um, I created Team Ana... A couple months ago to give people like myself my you know people my age people young people as aspiring in their communities to have a voice to the internet and kind of create an image for themselves so in my case I want to be a political activist I want to I want to speak I want to not not saying political affiliation but I want to be like a Ben Shapiro like I want to speak at campuses and I want to have my own show and do this and that and be fancy and have people scream and girls throw their tops off at me. Okay, the latter probably won't happen, but I'm, dream-wise, that is kind of where I'm heading for. I want to be a big figure in politics one day. If not, maybe basketball. Who knows? Right now, I'm kind of eyeing this. And so that's that's my portion. This is what I'm bringing to Team Ana. But I did create it. So, um, you know, my community were... Nobody knows my community, but we're about an hour and a half from LA. And so we're a $50,000, $60,000, $60,000, 60,000 people, you know, population community. And so nobody really knows my side of, you know, Cali. And so, you know, I do have a friend who wanted to partake in this. I I actually asked him to, and he, he's a bodybuilder. He got first place at NPC West regionals. Uh, He got second place in, I think, Southwest regionals and he got second place in another competition i have no clue what it is because i don't pay attention to bodybuilding but he does and he is a big hunk and dear god he is insane and i really think he's going to be the next you know arnold schwarzenegger and he's you know the next terminator and so i 
you know, we're going to make a documentary on him and his whole journey to try to become the best. You know, he's the greatest thing. He's like the Michael Jordan or he's going to be the Michael Jordan of bodybuilding. So we're going to do that. We're going to have a couple other shows. We're hopefully going to get a sports show. So maybe I can, you know, talk more politics here and save my Kobe Bryant versus Michael Jordan talk for that show. And basically it's just, if you guys know TYT, you know, the Young Turks, how they have like TYT sports and the news that's very biased over there. That's kind of what I'm trying to be like the umbrella just without the bias. Um, and so that's Team Ana, And so that's the show. And that's basically me. Um, other than that, I don't really think you need to know much more about my life unless you want to creep up on me. Uh, this show does have a website. I will put it in a link. It's going to be on the website. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I haven't paid for a website yet. So it's too long of a link to actually talk about. But I do have a Twitter and the Twitter will have the link on there. So if you want to go to Twitter, it's at in capitals YND show. Um, so you follow me. We're going to, I'm going to put updates for the show. I'm going to put, you know, if I have speakers or whatnot on there. And then, you know, tomorrow's show is basically going to be, I'm going to talk about Bernie Sanders. He's back in the news because he's actually doing something. He put Medicare for all bill out there. So I kind of want to talk about it and give my opinion and see, I'm going to read the bill and kind of tell you guys about it and see what I feel. I'm going to talk about Ben Shapiro. Uh, he's going to Berkeley and I know Berkeley is not the most fun place for conservatives, but I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to look at the, look at the speech. And I'm going to tell you if there's, you know, been a riot, if somebody died, what's going on there. Um, and then past that, you know, if any news comes up during the day, I'll, I'll probably bring it into the show, but that's kind of what's, what's going to start the content for tomorrow. So I'm Ryan. Thank you for enjoying this, this long sermon of myself. And hopefully I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you.